Dear viewers, welcome to another video in the series of Google Sheets tutorials. In this video, we are going to see another type of chart that we can use to represent data. So, the data that I have taken is in one of the recently concluded training programs. We have shared a feedback form and we have requested the participants to share their feedback score in some of our training parameters. Training parameters like training, trainer communication, course material, training room infrastructure, case studies that we have used, trainer knowledge on the subject area and training coordination, how the meeting invites have been sent, all these things. Now, if I select this as my data and if I click on insert and click on chart, I get a bar graph. So, let me minimize it to make you see the graph in a single screen. Let me minimize it. So, this is the bar graph that we get to see. Right. So, this is the bar graph that we get to see and in this bar graph you will understand that in each of the parameters somewhere I have done well, somewhere I have not done well. But if you look at this data, it is not about comparing training communication with course material. Then this bar graph makes sense. But my intention is not that. If I do well in all these programs, then the training program or in all these parameters, then the training program is a successful one. So, in order to know this, this may not be the right graph. Instead, I need to move to a different one. So, I click on edit chart and I move to my chart editor. So, in my chart editor, here if you see, I use the drop down and I am going to select this chart and what I call this as a radar chart. So, when I select this radar chart, my training requirements get converted into parameters. So, let me slightly maximize this so that it gives a better understanding. So, my training requirements get converted into parameters and that how much I am scoring on each parameter. So, the blue line that you see here, if this blue line is fully falling on the circumference of 5 out of 5, then in all parameters I have done a good job. So, this is a successful training. However, this blue line is not falling on the circumference. It is falling in some places close to the circumference. In some places it is very much inside. That means those areas I have more opportunity to improve. So, how to use this radar chart, how to edit this, how to make corrections, how to change the line color. All these things I have clearly explained in a detailed video. So, I will give the description of that video. So, you can listen to that video. Thank you for your time.